New research suggests that someday people will be able to fly from Sydney to London in two hours by taking a shortcut through space. Virgin Galactic is looking to revolutionize the way we move from one part of the world to another. Based on the information we have from scientific research, it is realistic, Crystal Zhang, Associate Professor of Aerospace, Engineering and Aviation, told Yahoo News Australia. For it to happen, the aircraft must travel at roughly 6,000 kilometers an hour, significantly faster than a commercial plane which flies at around 925 kilometers an hour. Passengers on board the suborbital flight will be briefly launched into space before descending, ultimately slashing the current 22-hour flight time down to two hours. Aviation authorities suggest suborbital flights could become mainstream within 10 years, but it does raise questions about cost and potential health side effects. A seat on board the Virgin Galactic flight will set keen flyers back a whopping $650,000 per person. But within 10 years, regulators claim it'll be affordable for everyone. Medical studies funded by the UK Civil Aviation Authority, as reported by The Times, report those on board do not need astronaut training. In fact, soon enough, anyone will be eligible. Being launched into space at G-force speed can have negative effects on the body, as gravitational forces make it harder to breathe. But the medical trials involving 24 people have so far found that those taking such flights would not need to be young or super fit, with older people also able to cope with space travel. 